Hi guys, so um, I really wanted to do this video um, for a while now. I have been growing my hair out for almost a year now. So I got my hair to a length that I liked, um, the length that it is now, and so I decided to start coloring it while I was trying to grow it out. I really didn't color it, didn't try to do any kind of processing. I hardly ever heat styled it. Um, and if you want to get like a whole hair journey video, I can do that. Just let me down down below. But for this one, um, so I started try deciding to color my hair. Um, and it was purple for a while, and it was green, and it's blonde right now because I'm kind of trying to see about what the next color is going to be. So um, anyway, through all of that, um, through the especially the last time I got it bleached, it got so dry and damaged. And I don't want to get rid of all that hard work I did growing it out. So um, I kind of came up with a good hair routine to repair it. Um, now it got to the peak of it when I turned dyed it green and it was supposed to be like a mint green to a silver. And so we were, we put my hair through so much bleach processing because my stylist and I um, trying to get it to where it would become silver, which turns out I have way too much red in my hair, like naturally. For it to ever get <laughs> that platinum blonde color so it can be silver so um, that didn't happen but uh, it still was like so processed I mean, we went through two bleaching processes and we put like a week in between which that is something I'll say if you have to go through like extensive bleaching make sure your stylist gives you a break in between like she didn't try to take me from brown to platinum blonde in one sitting like we went it was already kind of like a caramely blonde kind of like what it is about here because um, that's what you needed for the purple and we bleached it out as much as we could we waited a week and then bleached it again so my hair kind of had um and we did like a um chemical condition or they call them chem shots where we went it was like a conditioning treatment in the salon in between just to try to make sure that my hair didn't break off you know um but after the green I didn't want to bleach it again so I did the baking soda um, routine which is like mix baking soda with a clarifying shampoo or baby shampoo and I mixed with baby shampoo let it sit in my hair for 20 minutes and then washed it out which got all the green out but my hair was so dried out it was like a spider web and I couldn't brush it or comb it out with anything no matter what the conditioner I used I, uh, I had to like wait, I did, I did like a deep conditioning treatment and then I had to like pretty much wear it in a bun where I could just like make it look like it was matted on purpose because I could brush like the top part where it's not really bleached and I have to get it into a ponytail and then just kind of put it in a bun and I had to do that for like a week and a half um, before I could get it to where it was manageable and brushable and then it's still pretty dry and um, I have to be really careful because it's, um, after I wash it, it's really... Um, sensitive um, so that is why I use a lot of the products I use now which I will jump into now so first thing in caring for your damaged hair is shampoo it and conditioner um, and washing your hair um, you don't want to wash your hair every day uh, you I usually wash my hair twice a week um, I try to go about three days in between washings sometimes I can get up to a week out of that um, by using some dry shampoo uh, but try not to wash your hair every day and then also alternate um, your shampoos and your shampoo and conditioners um, so that your hair kind of can get um, more benefits out of it and it doesn't kind of build up a tolerance I guess kind of what I was it that's what it was explained to me like by my salon and everything so um, it has worked fabulously to alternate my shampoos and I will show you the two shampoos I have um, and conditioners this systems that I have been using. Okay, so this is um, Matrix Biolage Hydro Therapy um, System. This is the shampoo. And then I use the conditioning balm, which is a little bit thicker than the regular conditioner. So that works really well. And the other one I use is the Wella, and this is the conditioner. Um, and I use the Wella Elements, and um, it's sulfate and paraben free, and it's the renewing shampoo and conditioner system. So after shampoo and conditioner, um, I think I'm going to go to, I, I'll call the next step um, deep conditioning or treating your hair. So um, once a week I use a mask, uh, which I 
I'm now alternating because of the dryness of my hair between two masks. I use um, a mask by Carol's Daughter, which it pre helps prevent breakage because when your hair is really dry and damaged, it breaks off really easily. So I use a mask for that, and then I also use a moisturizing mask because, like I said, right now it's super dry and it gets dried out really quickly. So um, I'll show you those two masks now. Okay, so this is the um, Repairing Hair Mask by Carol's Daughter. I mean, it helps prevent um, breakage. And then I use the mac Macadamia Oil Nourishing Moisture Mask um, for the extra moisture. And the other treatment I use, um, also I use this once a week. So pretty much every time I wash my hair, I use one of these conditioning treatments is how it kind of works out. Um, sort of, like this one um, by O. John that I'll show you is, um, an oil kind of treatment and you I use it before I wash my hair um, when I use it and I started using this in college I got this in college and you could only order it online but now you can find it at Ulta, at Ulta. Um, so I really like this stuff and also so this is what the Ojan container looks like it's um, kind of a hard oil that kind of melts when you go to use it so that's really nice along the lines of oil treating I also use oil in my hair every day whether it's um, wet or dry it doesn't matter with the oil that i use um, i've had this in my favorites before this stuff um, is by the same people that make moroccan oil and it soaks into your hair really well without leaving it oily so combing out my hair um combing out my hair it since it's so if, it, if you have dry super dry hair um and my hair is actually also naturally curly it's really hard to comb out so um the the tools that you use to comb out your hair I would recommend um, a wide tooth comb or I use a tangle teaser, um, which is this guy right here. This is what the tangle teaser looks like, kind of like a big wide tooth comb. Also make sure to use a detangling spray. So I'm kind of alternating between two right now because I got one to try out. So this is also by Ojan. It's the Revitalizing Moisture Mist um, that's for detangling and helps with dry hair. It's the one I usually use. And then the second one is by Suave Kids um, that I've just been trying out, and I like it pretty well. The importance of a detangler, um, or how it helps, is it really gets that hair kind of slick and helps the comb to guide through or the brush to guide through, glide through, so that it's not getting snagged and not really pulling out those tangles. And so, lastly, or I guess lastly, yeah is styling um, your hair and how you sleep in it. So I try to make sure that I, I try to air dry my hair. Um, if I'm going to blow dry it, I try to limit that to maybe once a month. Um, because if I'm gonna heat style it, then all that heat can cause a lot of damage. I usually sleep in a braid or a bun, and that keeps my hair from getting really tangled um, while I sleep and really matted because I move around a lot and I sleep. Um, I try to make sure, um, to also limit my heat styling. So I try to pick styles that I can wear for more than one um, day or wear to my next wash somehow. So like right now I just have some loose curls and those will stay in for tomorrow. And then the third day I can kind of make it into just an updo sort of deal so that I don't have to heat style my hair until after I wash it again. And that limits the damage on your hair too. Um, oh, and one thing I forgot to mention was I also don't use a towel um, to dry my hair. I use a t-shirt and I use the plopping method, um, which I will find a video and link it down below for the plopping method. I have it in my curly hair routine, so I'll just link that down below um, to dry my hair and I can walk around with it um, or just kind of scrunching it like this with a towel or with a, not a towel, with a t-shirt. Um, the t-shirt is a kind of enough material so it's not as damaging to your hair. Okay, so that is it really about I care and I have been restoring my damaged hair. It is in much better shape and um, now than it was to begin with. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, let me know down below if you want to see uh, my hair journey and I will do that. Um, I have some pictures that I can show you from where I started. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this again. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social media links listed down below. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.